Hey guys, it's Margaret and I have got a part of a haul for you guys today. I'm going to do a ring haul. I bought a lot of jewelry from a member in our jewelry group and I was trying to figure out how to share this haul respectfully because it was her mother-in-law's jewelry that they just sold me all of it, the lot of it, and I didn't want to be sillier, you know, do my normal silly things with, with the haul video because I wanted to be sensitive to that. But I wanted to show you guys the really cool stuff that I got as well because that's part of what I do here is share with you guys what I pick up and what I'm planning on selling to make money to help support our family. So I'm going to do these rings. I'm going to pull them out one at a time and we're going to talk about them and um, we'll go through it that way. There's some really cool stuff in here. Um, some nice jewelry, some sterling silver, but then also some costume jewelry, um, but all really pretty. And so we'll just take a look at it all and explore it together. So let's dive in. And um, if you're interested in liking this kind of video, then make sure you go down there and hit the subscribe button and the little thumbs up and the little bell so you're notified when I go live with more videos like this. Um, so I'm gonna have more in this haul with the rest, you know, necklaces, brooches, bracelets, all of that good stuff. So um, stay tuned for that because I'm gonna break it up into multiple videos. So here we go. Here we have this flower ring and it looks like maybe it was silver plated. You can see where the colors rubbing off on the back of this. Um, so this is one, let's see, where's my magnet? It is not magnetic, but it looks like, um, based on the color there, maybe it was like silver plate over copper or something like that, which is cool. So this one might end up maybe in a ring lot uh, because of, if it was just discolored on the back, like the coating had come off on the back, I might try to list it on its own, but I can see a little bit like up here where the the silver has rubbed off a bit. So this will probably end up in a lot. And it is a size nine. So if I was smart, I would tag this as <laughs> size nine because if I end up doing a lot, maybe I would do like a size nine, 10 lot um, together. This ring that looks like a piece of turquoise set, you know, in silver, you can see the little claw. Um, the jagged marks there and then there is a mark on the back so let me see if I see any other marks and the mark on the back it looks like a little cloud and an SC inside the cloud so that is a mark that I'm not familiar with I'm gonna have to look it up I don't see a like a 925 or another kind of mark on there but I'm pretty you know I feel very conf confident about it being silver but look it's magnetic. How about that? Okay, well, then I'm guessing now that it's probably silver plated. So I'm gonna have to do a little digging on this one because of that. I mean, this one totally had me fooled because of the tarnish, the way it's made. Um, unless this happens to be one of those that tests positive for silver that um, has some other metal in it, which I haven't come across yet, but this could be it. So I'm gonna check this one out a little better. I mean, it's still a gorgeous ring, and that leads me to think this is not really turquoise, so um, probably a dyed howlite or something else. Okay, so this one is a almost a nine and a half, and what this one I'll probably end up doing is doing a little research on it. I still think I can sell it by itself. Um, I think it's pretty enough and I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I would say 30 plus dollars on that, depending on what I find out about the mark and everything. We have this ring, looks like so. And it's got this green faceted stone, it feels like plastic. Um, but the setting again, it's marked 925 down there. And now I have had some things lately that have been marked that weren't what they said they were. So this is a cool ring. Oh, we got another. And you know what, I saw this mark on a different piece and it looks like it says, um, almost like Dido, D-I-D, -D, unless I'm reading it backwards and then it's like an A-E 
kind of like Caesar has the AE if you know what I'm talking about. I can't remember what that's called. No, I'm not going to be able to show you. Um, let me zoom it in a little bit. So I can't decide if the mark goes this way where it's a stylized like AE and then pip or if it goes this way and it's DID something. Um, so yeah, if you have any information on that mark, I've seen it on a couple of the pieces, so I'll have to look that up. So it says 925. Let's see how it is not magnetic. So that's cool. Um, again, I don't know because it's going to depend on the that maker. It's a cool ring. I like this kind of hammered look. Um, so I'm guessing again, you know, 30 plus dollars depending on the maker on that ring. Size on this one is looks like seven and three quarters or so seven and a half seven and three quarters we have this ring let me zoom this one out this one is very native looking but i'll show you in just a second that it is not it is an adjustable ring but this is one of those that i think i would not have trouble selling um because it's just really a cool statement piece for someone who likes that Southwest style or that native style. This one, just as it is, is a size, oh, I'm pushing in, aren't I? About seven and a half or so, but it could be smaller or bigger because of that. And I'm gonna have to do a little research on this one. There's, I know there's a name for this style, like the way it's set, and I can't think of what it's called right now. I'd probably still put 30 or $40 on this ring, even, even with it being adjustable. I would still probably put that price because it looks really cool. Okay, oh, I didn't check the magneticity. It's not magnetic, but I don't think it's silver either, so. Okay, next. This one is one that I am considering keeping. I'm considering keeping this one. So we've got this abalone inset, and then this like is a really like vintage kind of style. So it looks like older, um, Native American kind of style, vintage style. So there's this ring, I was wearing it yesterday evening so I'm, I'm probably gonna keep it at least it'll be one of those that I keep till I change my mind <laughs> that's one of the perks right okay let's see if we can see the marks in here I'm gonna zoom it in see if you guys can see it I'm not exactly sure hang on let me get it in the right spot so it's like these two hearts 925 is up here then down here it's there's like a copyright and then that looks like an M in like a hill or something so and the little hearts have circles like they look like they have little eyeballs or something I don't know anyway so I'll have to look up that makers mark and see what I can find out about this ring okay so next let's take a look at the size the weather's been so dry so apologies my nails are a bit my hands are a little dry um, it's about a size seven. Next ring is this little posy flower ring and it is adjustable as you can see. There is a mark in there and it says Sarah Coventry. So it is an adjustable Sarah Coventry ring. There, there are people that collect Sarah Coventry so I will have to find out what, um, you know, what this little ring goes for. So it is most likely magnetic. Yep, it is magnetic. And then let's say what size it is. So without adjusting it, it's about a size eight. This is what happens when testing acid gets on your ring sizer by accident. Um, that's what happened there. So it's about a size eight. And again, I'll have to do a little digging about how much Sarah Coventry stuff goes for as far as rings and adjustable rings and stuff. But I'm guessing at least, you know, $15 or more. You know, otherwise, generally I won't want to list it. I'll put it in a lot otherwise. Okay, next. We have this little W ring. This one is silver. It looks like it had marcasites or some stones in there, but they are gone. I guess it could be an M too. Either way. Kind of, I kind of think it's a W though. Anyway, the stones are not there. So, and the marks inside look like 925 and something. Let me peek. It's a 925 and then this is a CW if you flip it around this way. 
if I can get it. There we go, like a CW right there. So, um, this one might just end up in a lot because it's missing some stones. So this one might end up like in a, either a scrap for sterling silver or in a, a jewelry lot. So it might go into a sterling scrap. We have this ring. It's got this mm, kind of like rusty red brown cabochon. Um, cabochon? I always say that wrong. Anyway, and it's on this really super shiny, it's in this shiny modern setting, um, like so. And there are some marks in there. I thought I saw something in there. There it is. Okay. And um, there is a 925 mark there. And then we've got some other marks. I'm going to have to get my loop to go look at them a little bit closer. Um, so as far as the stone, I'm not 100% sure what it is just yet. I'm trying to feel it and see if I think it's, it kind of feels like plastic to me. I don't know. It kinda, I mean, it's not really cold to the touch. Uh, let me look at it a little bit closer. Hang on. I feel pretty confident that it's plastic. I don't, I mean, the only other thing that would feel like that that I can think of would be amber, and I really don't think that's amber at all. So, it is marked 925, and then it's marked China inside. Um... But as you can see, this is another one that's marked 925 that is magnetic. So I would put that in my listing, you know, mark 925 but is magnetic. Um, I might test it, but it might just be like um, silver plated or like, like, you know, silver mixed with something else. So, but I would definitely put it in there magnetic. And let's check the size on this one. It's still a gorgeous ring. So it's about a size eight. I need a new ring sizer. <laughs> it's about a size eight. That cleaned right off, whatever that was. So pretty cool. I'm guessing, you know, maybe around 20 bucks on this ring. Next is this ring. This pebbled look. There are people that really like this kind of, I mean, it's kind of that pebbled look, but then it's also kind of a rope look there. I think this one's more of a rope. The top part's more pebbled like that. Um, so this is, you know, not actually turquoise. It's something else, some sort of stone in there or glass, some faux turquoise. But it's a really pretty ring. Let me zoom out a teeny bit so you can see the whole thing. So this is the whole ring. It's got quite a lift to that setting. And let's see what it says on the inside. So, on the inside, we've got some marks in there. It looks like 925. Looks like maybe China. It says BARS, B-A-R-S-E, 925. And then down there says Thai. So, um, I've come across BARS before. I'll have to look it up again. It's been a while. I can't quite remember. So, let's check. So, it's not magnetic, which is good. Um, so, this one, I'm guessing I'd probably put it up at $40 plus dollars, um, just because I really like this setting. It's really eye-catching. Um, it's got a nice smooth back right there. And the size on this one, again, all these prices are just general because I haven't looked any of this up yet, so I might guess. So, this looks like it's about a three, I mean a seven and three quarters. As far as okay, size. so next up we've got this ring that has got looks like a piece of kind of like a sea green maybe a turquoise in there and then it's got just this semicircle setting it's interesting um, it's very interesting so there's this we'll take a look at the marks that we see inside I see Mexico I think let's look a little bit closer I wonder if I zoom in, if you'll be able to see it too. Ah, oh, wiggly. Let's see, or is that, that's as close as it's going to get for you guys. So I see Mexico, see some numbers, 925, and then something, dash 134. So it looks like it says TV134, and then Mexico on there. Let's see if it's magnetic. Nope. And let's size it. So this one is about um, about an eight and a half on there on this one. 
so almost an eight and a half. So that's a pretty ring. Um, again, I'll have to look it up, but I'm guessing, you know, probably around 17 to 20 dollars on this ring. We have got this one that looks like it might be a blue topaz in there. I'll have to look just in case it's something else, but that's kind of what my gut's telling me. Um, and then it's got these marcasites along the side. It's definitely kind of a, an art deco look with those lines on it. The way the lines are, anyway. Very geometric. Kind of looks like a crown on that one. And here, we've got, it looks like RF and some mountains as the mark, which I will have to look up. 925 on that side. And this is the back, like so. So, because I don't know, okay, not magnetic. I don't know that maker's mark, so it's gonna be hard for me to give a good quote on this ring. I'm gonna have to look up com comparable. So it's about a size seven. Um, just like off, like gut instinct, what I think I would list this for. Um, I might go, you know, as high as 50 or 60 bucks, depending on the maker. The maker might um, bring it, bring it up. We'll see. But just based on the style, I, I think that's a popular style that that somebody would be be desirable. It would be a desirable style. Okay, next we have this ring. It is adjustable. Let me zoom it out a teensy bit. Um, and it's got this kind of like squished sphere on it. Um, kind of like a big pebble. That'll be a doozy to, to come up with a description for. Um, but it is marked sterling. It is adjustable. It's marked sterling down here. Um, let's see if I see any other marks in there. Sterling over here. It looks like it says NYE. Yep, NYE, which I will have to look up. And then it's got this kind of hollow hole in the back. So there's no bell or anything inside of it. That's what I was checking for. And the size on this one, as is, it's about, if I keep pushing, it's about a nine. But again, it's adjustable, so you can, you can move it around and try it uh, different sizes. Um, so this one I'm kind of at a loss for. Uh, it's unusual. So I, I'm gonna say about 25 bucks, if not more, we'll see. I just have to look, you know, it's hard to say without knowing the maker, there's that. Okay, next. We have got this really pretty ring and that kind of looks like, tell me what you think. I mean, it's not like a citrine, not quite a, to, is it kind of like a topaz? I don't know. Whatever it is, I don't think it's natural. Look at the way the light hits it. You know, it kind of changes with the lightness and darkness on it. Anyway, probably lab created, um, most likely. So I'll have to see what I can find out about that. But this is the next ring. It's really pretty the way it's set. So here's the setting for it along the sides. Let me lift it up so you can see. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna find out more about the stone because it's really, really pretty. And I mean, it's set really well too. As you can see, there's kind of that rope design there. Then we've got the marcasites, the scallops. It's got all of this open work along the edges and even some little extra. So it's got a lot into it. It's really pretty. So it's worth me checking out the stone. And it is marked 925 and I'm trying to see what that it's got that CW mark again, so I'll have to find out what that is. I had another one that had that mark. All right, I'm not 100% sure where it stopped, but we're gonna pick it back up here. Um, so yeah, this stone I'm gonna be looking into a little bit more, and the marks again were that CW925 in there, 
and let's see it is not magnetic and it is about a size almost a size 8 so it's really pretty um, depending on what I find out about it I, I I wish I could guess on the what I would price it out at because it's really showy ring and it's got a really nice setting so maybe oh gosh I mean 40 plus dollars is my guess depending on what I find out about it 60 I don't know it seems like it's got a lot of nice detailing to it so we'll see we shall see I'll let you know next is this ring it's a silver ring that's got some missing marcasites in it hang on this light is a little bit too bright let me take that down a little bit all right so as you can see there are some missing marcasite in there don't go to sleep computer um and let's see about the mark again it looks like i see it's a 925 in there, and I can't really make out what that other mark is. It looks like a B, a lowercase B and a circle or something. Sorry, you can't see it. Um, so let's take a look. Not magnetic. So this one would probably go in the scrap. You know, if I end up doing like a silver scrap lot, like with these, these two might go together in a silver scrap lot. So that's probably where that's gonna end up. Next, this one is super showy. Let me zoom out a little bit so it fits better. So here we've got this really um, native looking ring. I don't know, let's see if it's signed. Um, you know, it's really well done. You can't, I mean, the back is not open so I'm not sure, we'll have to double check the stones. They look, they look pretty good though. Um, it is marked 925. I'd have to get a little closer up on the stones to see if I think they are how light or dyed or something else, or if I think they're a light, you know, turquoise. Um, there's another blue. What is that other blue stone called? Oh my gosh. Um, they have it in Aruba. They have it in some other places, but I don't know if that, I don't really know if that's what that is. But there's another really light blue stone kind of like this. And it's not turquoise, it's called something else. And I can't think of what it's called. I'll look it up. So, I'll have to do a little bit of figuring out on what I think um, that is. And then the red as well. Because it doesn't... I'm going to look at that red closer because it doesn't look... I'm going to have to look at that a little bit closer because I don't know if you can see... If I can get the light to... Let me bring my light over a little closer. Or if I can zoom it in on, on it a little better. But do you see how it's kind of splotchy? And then like there's this like area over here. So I, I'm gonna have to look into that and see that if that's like a man-made thing or if that's a, if there's a stone that actually looks like that. Um, if you know, let me know. But that kind of makes me suspect that it's maybe a man-made. They're all cold. I mean, they're cold to the touch, so that makes me think they're stone, but I don't know. I'd rather err on the side of caution, you know what I mean? So we'll look it up and find out. But it's really nicely done. It looks really good. And let's check it there. It's not magnetic. And it is about a size six and a half. And it's gorgeous. I It's not my style, so I don't see myself keeping it. Um, but depending on... I just don't know, honestly. Um, depending on what I find out about the stones, you know, this one might end up being 60 plus dollars because of just, you know, it's so big. It's quite a statement piece, as you can see, like so. It's really big. Let's see if I can get it on my finger. On my finger, you know. It goes, it goes, wait, out the other way. There. You know, it's quite large as far as that goes. Maybe I can zoom in on that stone. Let's see what you think. Tell me what you think, those of you who know stones. I don't know. Anyway, all right, let's move on to the next ring. This is another one that I was considering keeping um, because it just, it's something I like. I like the marcasites a lot. I really like the romantic kind of feminine style of it. It's got that mother of pearl 
inset there and yeah it's really pretty so I like the open work the filigree and there's the back of it again nicely done let's see what we see that looks like a 925 mark and that might be it as far as marks go so let's see if it is magnetic it is not the size on it is quite small it's about a size five I could have sworn I had this puppy on the other day though it must have been on my pinky all right well I don't really wear a ring on my pinky so I'll probably sell it so this one um I'll probably put it up at least forty dollars if not more because I'd rather sell it for high if I'm gonna sell it and I think I could get that um, we have got a silver it looks like one of those spoon style rings with the you know edges of the spoon wrapped around so that is that one. So again, adjustable. I like the hearts. And let's see what we see in there. This one says Avon. <clears throat> and there's another mark in there. It says Sterling and Spain. So I don't know. I have sold Avon jewelry before. Well, cufflinks anyway. Um, so I think... Honestly, I don't think it's going to matter whether I put Avon in the in the title or not because I think somebody who gets this ring is probably going to want it for the style of it. Let me try to adjust this brightness. It's really super bright. Um, somebody might just want it for the style that the ring is. So, and at the moment, it's about a size eight and a half. So the next ring we've got looks like this. Um, I There must be a word for this, but it's got like these four rows. They're staggered, and I'm not sure what the name of that is, but I'm going to find out. Um, I like the back. I like when they're open in the back. Just something I personally like. And I don't see a mark, so let's check it with the magnet. All right, it's not magnetic. Let me see if I can find a mark. Let me look a little bit closer. So no, I don't see any kind of mark in there. I, whew, I don't know. This one is a question mark for me uh, as far as what I would sell it for. It's about a size seven and three quarters. Let me zoom in a little bit. It looks kind of blurry. Let's unblurry it. There we go. Now it looks dark. Oh my gosh. We just can't get our lighting right tonight. There we go. So it's a nice piece, it's a nice ring. I don't know on this one, I'm guessing probably around the $20 mark, unless I can find out a little more about it. I might test it, but without it being marked silver, I, I may not. So our next ring looks like that, it's either a coin or like the Aztec calendar. I think it's a calendar. Mayan, Aztec, I'm not sure. Or is it a coin? Let's flip it over, nope. So there's the back of it, and let's see. I'll have to get a really good shot of that center to see what it is exactly, because it's, I don't know, it's hard to make out. And then it's marked on the back. It's interesting, it's marked 925 MEX, but then there's some other letters or something. Sorry, you can't see that, up there. And I'm not what well, I'm not 100 sure what it is. J. Oh, it says J54. So I don't know. Maybe it would just be a a note a maker's note. I'm not sure. I mean, really, it looks very rustic. You know, like this part up here is very jagged, almost like I don't know. Either it's super old, or it was made by somebody who is not an artisan. I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, um, a novice maybe. Okay, it's not magnetic, and it measures about seven and three quarters. It's hard to make out, isn't it? Even, even the, let me turn this light off, because maybe the glare is hitting it. So that's what it looks like. Yeah, I, I don't know. It does, I mean, it kind of looks like the calendar, and then it kind of doesn't. So I'll have to dive in a little deeper and see what I can make out. I mean, it's unique. That's one thing it's got going for it. So I would say, you know, maybe, oh gosh, $15, $20, depending on what I find out about it. But somebody might like that really 
rustic look, you know? The next ring we have is a wire kind of coiled around this white stone, almost like a pebble, you know, like you would get for plants to put in the bottom of plants or something. Um, so yeah, this is just an interesting ring. It just, I don't know. Um, it's not magnetic. I don't recall seeing any kind of maker's mark on it or, you know, silver mark or anything like that. I, I don't know that, I don't think it is silver. One, that the weight is really heavy for that. The size on this one is a almost nine, so it's eight and three quarters. I'm gonna have to look this one up, but I'm guessing around $17, 15, 17, somewhere in that range, depending on what I see out there. And the next string we have is got one of these like domes with the ridges, it's kind of serrated. How would you describe that, the ridges? I'm sure there's a better word for that, but I will think of it before I list it. It's kind of cool. It looks like it's somebody's hair. We need some eyeballs and a mouth. It is marked in there, I see 925. Nope, just see silver, and that's cool. Some people like that minimalist style, and it looks like it's just about a size eight, maybe a little shy of a size eight. I am guessing probably in around 25, 30 bucks, depending on what else I see out there. And I, I don't think I would polish it. Some people might like that patina on there. And the next ring we're gonna look at is a really cool kind of enamel, almost a cloisonnate style. They look like little butterflies. It's really adorable. They're these little red and black. They kind of look like butterflies to me, stylized. And then inside has this really sweet blue enamel. So really pretty, I like it. Very Asian styled. I don't know anything else about it. I don't see any marks or anything. It is a size like eight and a half or so, almost eight and three quarters. And that is a, looks like black and orangey red color there. And it is magnetic. So I, I would have to look that up, but I'm guessing I'd put it at around, because it's so unique, maybe 18 to $20, maybe more. We have this ring that is sort of, the, it goes all the way around this band ring. It's got this open work with these little, I think they're black stones. Let me get my light over here a little bit more. And I don't see a silver mark or anything in there unless I'm missing it. So let's check that. It is not magnetic. So I'll look a little closer for a mark. I don't see any kind of um, silver mark on it. So maybe that's something I'll have to test. The size on there is a almost a size seven. So maybe six and three quarters on this ring. So without knowing if it's silver or not, I'm guessing I'd probably list it maybe $25, $27. It's really nice, it's showy. It's a, good, it's a good piece. Hey guys, it's Margaret. I thought I would be able to do this ring haul in one video, but I think it's gonna take a little bit longer than that. So we're gonna break it up into uh, maybe three because there are quite a lot of rings here. So this was the first installment and I'll be back with the second one soon. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it when so you're notified when I put out new videos and so you'll be notified when I put out the rest of this ring haul and I'll keep you posted. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye.